friends, it is me and it's time to infill these nails. Do you know what? These are the tips that I, my coffin, TX Elite coffin tips that I put on to make the modern almond nails with the sapphires on ages ago. They're still going strong. I'm going to be using my Alina brush, which is from www.alinacrystals.com. There's my discount code. Quick, quick, it's gone. Oh dear. I'll put it in the description box. Don't worry. Um, I've prepped my cuticles and all that malarkey and uh, filed my nails like the design off so I'm just going to dehydrate and prime and then we'll get on with the design it's very simple very quick super easy salon stuff that you can do so I'm using my Lena acrylic wand and the acrylic I'm using is Nailmate Toasted Rose and um, we're just going to literally tap, tap, drag, just infill that nice and easily. There's not an awful lot of regrowth, to be fair. So the infill process itself is very, very simple. I didn't show the prep because I've shown prep on like millions of videos. But if you do have trouble with prep, I've got a video on how to prep the natural nail without an e-file, just using your hand tools. Don't be under the illusion that you need an e-file for good prep. Plenty of people do it without, and uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's personal choice. Oh, there's a stray hair on my brush. How annoying. I just want to snip it off. Um, but I didn't see it at the time, otherwise I would have done. So same thing here. Um, pop the bead on, tuck it in at the cuticle, and then just feather it into the previous product. So yes, courses, links, everything will be in the description box. All the courses are on my website. You can have a good gander at those. Um, don't worry about like the black you can see around the little holes that's where obviously I had these pierced and uh, there was a bit of gel in there but that's okay that all gets sorted in a minute so I'll show you this last one do I show you all of them yes I do I show you all of them I just remembered I was debating not showing you all of them then I thought well I might as well show you while I'm here so again tuck the bead in tuck it with the tip of the brush and then use the middle to move and blend that bead tucking it with the tip, middle to move. It's a really easy concept. Um, if you try and use the tip of your brush to feather product, you end up scraping it. So the underside of the brush is perfect for smoothing out the product. And the tip is perfect for just tucking it in around the cuticle, nice and neat. Same on this, just tucking it gently, using the underneath to smooth it down. I love an infill, they're so quick, aren't they? So quick. Piece of wee wee, as my dad would say. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't say it because I'll probably get demonetized. Right, um, <laughs> so this is before filing, and now I'm just going to show you quickly how I file. I started filing and forgot to show you. So I do side wall, side walls, free edge, and then I'll just go over the body of the nail, around the cuticle, pull that skin back because you don't want to slice yourself. And then it just around the cuticle area then over the body of the nail I mean I've already filed the old product off so inadvertently I've already kind of shaped these nails I'm just adding a little bit more product then smoothing it off so it shouldn't be a big problem it should be pretty simple to do um, I mean I, I feel like a broken record I've got courses on filing and shaping too um, that cover like four shapes so um, square almond stiletto and coffin and yeah they're, they're just short courses they're inexpensive but I, I wish um, I'd had access to things like that online when I was learning or when I'd recently qualified right so we've filed buffed and cleaned up the dust and I'm going in with Madame Glam's black gel paint and their detail liner and my dotting tool oh we went a bit out of focus there come on shebang back into focus please thank you there we go and I'm just gonna do a th star thing don't ask me what the technical is just a star thing but I wanted a dark one instead of a white light one like the Christmassy pretty ones I wanted the dark ones because it's nearly Halloween so that's what we've gone with and we're just yeah extending out there I'll do this one in full real time and then the next one I sped up for you so that you're not bored. And then I'm just doing shorter bits coming out there because I just, I don't know, I felt like it needed a little bit more sparkle. But then in the centre I'm going to put some bling. <laughs> Can you believe it? There we go. 
get that in the lamp, give it a flash cure. And then I'll do another one down here. Now, for those of you, before you even moan, right, I know my nails are growing out underneath. It is my personal choice not to grind them away with an e-file. I don't want to. If it was a customer, then it would be up to them. I don't want to, so I'm not. When I take these off, I want to see how long my nails are underneath because I've had these on for ages. Right, in the lamp, 60 second cure, and then I'm just gonna wipe over the nails with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. And look at these. These are my new crystals. These are Midnight Sparkle. They are a deep blue, a purple. They have some golden in there. They are like a metallic-y. Oh, they're stunning. Oh, they're gorgeous. They've just launched on the website today. There we are, and they're in a pack of 1,400. And these are the, that's the smallest ones in there. I believe they're SS4. Um, and just look how perfect they look. Look at that. Oh, they're so sparkly and beautiful. You wait, just wait, just wait. Onto the index finger, and I'm going to do something pretty similar. Just pulling out the edges of the star thing, and then doing the little bits inside. So I will pop some lovely music on now, and you just relax. So now we're going in with Madame Glam's long fine liner. Let's get that in focus so you can see. There we are. And we're going to do a kind of spider web thing. I think this is the first time I've ever drawn a spider web thing. It's certainly been a long time if I've ever done it before. I just kind of did it. It's not the most perfect, but you know, it's my spider web. Nature isn't always perfect. Imperfection is beautiful. Anything to make me feel better. Have you got any more quotes? Anything. Normal is boring. Anything to make me feel better about my wonky spider web. So I've done three long lengths coming out and then I'm kind of just swooping up and over. Just up and over. Really simple. And then I'll do some more and just kind of inside the lines. Up and over, up and over. Like that. And I think it was all right. I did tidy it up a bit here and there because it was a bit, I was having a bit of a bad day. You see, today, I wasn't very well. I feel, I feel a lot brighter now than I did when I was filming this. When I was filming this, I was feeling rather poorly. And uh, my husband was like, do you, maybe you should just go and lay down. But I just wouldn't because I wanted to get this design out of my head and onto my nails. Because last night, it's all I could think about when I was trying to sleep. So... Here it is, imperfectly perfect. Oh, isn't that a cute quote? <laughs> right, I've cured it. I've wiped off any grease or sticky layer or anything like that. I don't think these have a sticky layer, but I'm just paranoid, so I wiped them anyway. And I'm going in with some of the crystals. I think these are SS6, these ones. They're not the SS4s, they're slightly bigger. And I'm just gonna pop them on. The adhesive I'm using is Bling Bond, available on my website. And it is only for sale in the UK because we can't ship things like that outside of the UK without getting a slap on the wrist. So, yeah, sorry. So if you're trying to buy from a different country and you've got the bling bond in your basket, it will just, it will just say it's not shipping to your country. So take the bling bond out and then you'll find you can, you can purchase. You can purchase. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for coming along. Um... I've had a lot of response from the collaboration with uh, Nat last week 
and you guys have asked us to do more and yes we're on it don't worry we will not let you down we had such a blast doing it so there is more planned is more there are more there are more planned i can't english today um and I'm, we're just really grateful for the love and everything it was really sweet thank you very much um what am i doing i thought i'd freeze framed then i'm gonna pop a little of the ss4s in the corner because i thought the ss6s might look a little bit too big do you know what i mean a little bit too plump there's nothing worse than a plump crystal in the wrong place is there <laughs> okay right just don't mind me i'm gonna draw a spider another thing i've never done i don't know why i've never done a spider on a nail i've just never felt the urge but i have now so i've done one so that's gonna have a flash cure and i'm just gonna do the the spider was a little bit on the wonk but then i figured it's nature it's natural spider isn't necessarily going to come down straight there might have been a breeze might have been a windy day so i'm going with it i'm committed now to my wonky spider i've never seriously i can't believe i've never done this before i'm so weird it's really funny how i just don't i tend to do things after it like i don't jump on the trends i tend to just do my own thing i'm a bit of a lone wolf in that sense um and his legs are a bit wonky, but then I figured he might have been in a fight with a bigger spider one day. <laughs> so he's been cured, and I'm popping some bling bond on there. Bling bond, it's your adhesive calling. And I'm putting a great big one of those. This is an SS16 of the Midnight Sparkle crystals that are brand new. Seriously, they've just gone on the website today, and I haven't even told anyone. So you, you guys are the first to know. And stock is, is limited because I only have so much storage. So once they're gone, I have to wait and get more. Um, so yes. Right, on the pinky, we're just going to do some little dots and add a couple, add, add a little star because there's a piercing going in there as well. Um, so we've got our star thingy here. Lovely jubbly. There we are. And I'm going to... Have I wiped it? I must have wiped it. I'm going to pop a bit of bling bond on out of focus because that's the best way to do it, apparently. <laughs> pop a little crystal in there. That's an SS4. Let them set a second and we shall add the piercings. I'm going for the black ones this time. I love them. <gasps> I love them so much. Oh, You can buy these on the website in either this big pack or you, if you're not really like going to massively use loads Then you can just get a small pack which is 20 of each colour because this big box has 180 of each colour Now, I mean, I'd fart ass around with them all day making different things. I'll have fun with it What if you intertwined them and then added them into the nail at certain spots and made chain mail for your nail? Chain nail mail chain N chain <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister isn't it oh dear me yeah that anyway wouldn't that be cool i'm obsessed with these black ones i don't know why i just love them maybe because it is that sort of season isn't it for dark nails and i i am a bit of a secret goth it's only because i'm getting older now that i seem to have toned down my dress sense right into the velvet matte top coat around the crystals please not over them come on now you don't want to do all the damage when you've done all the work around the crystals and then finish top coat and i won't show you every single nail because it's not like the reveal of a gloss top coat is it it's a bit anticlimactic really there we are beautiful do the next one now i probably should have put the piercings in last but i was just excited so i didn't <laughs> i'll just use the detailer brush to go in and around there i know some someone's going to be triggered by the fact my natural nails are long underneath but they haven't separated away from the tip the adhesive is good and strong uh if they had separated of course i would be soaking off anyway but um everything's nice and sealed and i'm happy with it so just let me be just let me be in my little corner like the little weirdo that i am all right because i like it over here it's fun <laughs> there we go and then they were in the lamp 
all top coated and here's the final video. I really hope you've liked this. Please head over to the description box to find all the links and I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tally bye!